Okay, I'll start with the angles of the shoulders. Just a straight line that connects one corner to the other. I can't see the chromium because they're above our eye level, but that's okay. It's still fairly easy to judge that angle. From the shoulder down to the waist, where you see the pinch, to the other side where it's stretching. A few quick rhythm lines for the hips. Angle of the arms. And the legs getting that elegant S-curve sweeping down the entire length of the leg. Really common to see people making this too straight. Remember, in the gesture phase of the drawing, you want to exaggerate a bit because once you start adding details, it becomes stiffer. So look for the motion between the forms and construct it with simple C-curves, S-curves, or straight lines. measuring the center line of the spine and getting a general angle of the lumbar region. And same thing in the thoracic region. Finding the sweep of the trapezius starting from the neck down to the acromion, and the basic shape for the head. So now I'm thinking about the pelvis as a cylinder and finding the cross contour line to establish the perspective of the hips. Also trying to make that curve pass through the landmarks of the pieces, the dimples in the back of the corners of the iliac crest. And then connecting those dimples to the tailbone to form the triangle of the sacrum. From the acromion, follow the angles down the spine of the scapula and connect it over to the other side. Always relate the two sides of the body for symmetry. Then find the angle of the medial border of the scapula. It's really easy to see that bottom corner since it's poking out and you see that deep shadow. Same thing on the other side and again relating the two sides. Trying to find the border of the rib cage not including any of the muscles on top. On the right side, I see a corner of the bottom of the rib cage. The tenth rib pokes out and stretches the external oblique. Also seeing the iliac crest poking out on the right side there. So I really want to emphasize these bony protrusions. It's going to add structure to the drawing and make her feel solid. Again, there's those dimples of the pieces. Just want to double check to make sure they relate correctly to the iliac crest indication I just put down. Start with a straight for the tendinous area, curve out for the muscular part to the bones in the knee, and down to the lateral malleolus. a shape for the bottom plane of the foot. I'm ignoring the high heel and imagining what the foot looks like. The gluteus is relaxed on the right side, so I'll draw it relaxed, transitioning to the leg. The left side is compressing because the weight is on that leg. So I'll draw this U-shaped connection to the leg indicating tension. Coming back to the left hip and leg, I want to better define these shapes. Looking a little closer at the contours, the anatomy, 
and redesigning the shapes there. And in here you've got the Electronon or the elbow. And her elbow is bent a little, so you're starting to see a triangular relationship between the three bony points there. On the other side, not bending as much, but a very subtle bend. So bringing those closer to a straight line. You can see the seventh cervical pretty clearly there. All right, that's it. If you want to see how I take this drawing further by adding the anatomy and three other landmark examples, check out proco.com figure. Premium membership gets you access to all the extended videos of the figure drawing fundamental series. If you like this video, share the wealth. Tell your friends. Post it on your favorite social network. And click this button here to subscribe to the Proco newsletter if you want to be updated about new videos. Bye-bye.